You know, Narwhal, in my opinion, is one of these really cool up and coming small pen brands that I really think is going to go far. And the reason why I say this is I've had a couple of their pens. I've, I've reviewed a couple of their pens. The, uh, what is it, the, the Key West series, also the uh, School Kill series. Um, and then just last month, Narwhal releases a new piston filling pen, but this time it's different from the other pens that they've released. And it even comes in a box that's slightly different. And what we've got here is a pen that is made out of ebonite. Yeah, European ebonite. And I find that to be very exciting. So let's go ahead and start unboxing this pen. This is the Narwhal Nautilus. And there were three versions that came out. There was uh, two black ones that had a bronze and I believe kind of a like a silver trim. And then the one I have here, which is called the, gosh, forgive me if I mispronounce this, the Pel Pelagia Noctiluca. <laughs> Pelagia Noctiluca. Um, yeah, it's kind of a complicated name. I just took out, took off the outer box and now we're left with a square box that has, and it's very simplistic. It's Narwhal Nautilus. I believe these are also limited edition pens, although I thought I heard a rumor that this particular pen is going to be part of it, you know, like it will be in production longer. So I'm opening up the inside here. It's got a magnetic closure and there is some literature inside. It's a user guide and basically it's showing you how to use this piston filler. That'll be helpful. And then inside is our pen. And so this pen is going, of course, with the, um, the narwhal aquatic theme. Uh, so we've got the Nautilus, we've got, you know, all these other things that are fish related. So let me take off this plastic sleeve and here is our pen. And so this pen has some really interesting aspects about it. So. First of all, let's just take a look and appreciate this ebonite material. I really love this. You know, you've got all kinds of cool colors. There's, I, I think it's the illusion of purple, but there's reds, blues, green, and it could be purple. Finial has just a shiny rose gold top to it, which I really don't find that to be necessary, but it probably has something to do with this clip. It somehow it attaches to the clip, keeps it in place. I don't know. Uh, the clip, speaking of, it actually is nice and bouncy. So that will clip to whatever you want it to rather easily. You might have noticed that this pen has rose gold trim. And you see these little circles right here? That's the ink window. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> I love that it looks like a little submarine, right? So, and that, so that's what I mean, where it's still sticking with its aquatic theme, this brand, with the little submarine windows, if you will. And the cap has the, the ring on the bottom of the cap. What is on here? It's like little wave patterns, and it just says narwhal uh, on both sides of it. And then right here next to the piston knob, we've got one single rose gold band. And the nib is also rose gold plated steel nib. So I've got a number six nib on here. So a nice big nib. And I've got a broad nib. I just, I like a good juicy broad nib. I like the way it writes, you know, whatever. That's just me. Now, the thing about this pen is it does not post. And I read that, I already read that somewhere. I think I read it on Gold Spot's um, website. But the pen is large enough to hold comfortably in your hand. So it's just a really good looking pen. And I really like that Narwhal has kind of stepped up their game a bit to do this really cool limited series because this is just so 
different uh, from what everybody else is doing. And by the looks of it, it actually looks like it holds quite a bit of ink. Let me put the piston on real quick, just to, yeah, look at that. So let's make sure that this works okay. So yeah, it's gonna hold quite a bit of ink in there. Very cool. I just really love this pen. I mean, and I was so excited to get one. I missed this pen the first time it came out. The first release of it, I missed it. And then I heard Roy and Tom talking about it on the Pentertainment podcast about this pen and how much they, they were liking it and all this. I was like, oh man. And so I went and looked for it. I couldn't find it anywhere. And it turns out that Frank from Narwhal, he answered a, a, um, a response to his post where I was like, oh man, I missed out on this pen. I'm just kicking myself. He says, oh, there are other stores have, you know, they're restocking. And I was like, oh. So yeah, I, I like went and started searching all of the websites. I went to Goldspot and I found it and I was so happy. But the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink this beautiful pen up and let's see how she writes. For joining me for this look at the Narwhal Nautilus. I'm not going to try to pronounce that name again. Oh, okay, what the hell. Pel Pelagia? Pelagia, maybe that's how it said. Noctiluca. Pelagia Noctiluca. Sounds right, I guess. <laughs> well, I tell you, I mean, you know, I don't believe I mentioned it previously, but this nib is an in-house nib by Narwhal, so it is not a Yovo nib, it's not a Bach nib, it is in-house, so it's a completely different writing experience than what you might be used to. And in fact, all of their pens are in-house nibs, and I like the way they write. And this pen is no exception. It also writes really well. And listen, if you go out looking for this pen and you see it, and it's in stock, jump on it. These pens sell out really fast. In fact, I went and I checked Gold Spot and it's, they're sold out already. So I'm glad I, I ordered it when I did so I could get this great pen. But yeah, it's already sold out. So keep your eye out for it. I know that Gold Spot isn't the only retailer that is selling these pens. There will be others. So let's talk about the price. So this pen, retails for $160. I don't think that's a horrible price. And the reason for that is because this compared to the usual Narwhal offerings, this is a 
a nicer pen. It, the material is nicer. It's different from what they're usually putting out there. It's ebonite material. It has really beautiful trim on it. The nib is awesome. Even if it's a stainless steel nib, hey, you know, you could get Italian pens with stainless steel nibs and they are definitely priced over $200. So in my opinion, 160 for this isn't horrible. Now, let's say you go to Gold Spot and you find this pen and you use the coupon code ROY, you get 10% off. So, I mean, that's $16 off. So that's what I ended up doing. So I think for a pen under $200 that performs like this and at this caliber, I think it's worth it. Frank, awesome job, my man. Awesome job. Well, I guess that's all I have to say about it. And that's how the ink flows.